Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent a donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this, this one says, um, hey, Mr. Locario, thanks for your videos and advice. Um, I live in Dubai. I'm six foot five, tall, and a good-looking face. Uh, I was 350 pounds and now I'm 190 pounds and do bodybuilding and I'm fit now. I work in restaurant management. Um, I studied a lot of psychology courses and now I'm doing life coaching for people who want to lose weight. Um, I get attention from all kinds of women, all ages, uh, club managers, hostesses, models, actresses get attracted to my looks. I've been gaming uh, before getting fit with poor results. I follow mainly Neil Strauss RSD programs. I do approach in the streets, malls, nightclubs, and beach clubs. I'm used to open direct. Uh, now I'll open, I say, hi, my name is so-and-so. I saw you in this situation or that situation. So now my challenge is when I approach women who are fives or sevens or through sevens, they get so intimidated by me and I lose interactions fast or even when I close, uh, most women don't respond. When I approach women who are eights, nines, and tens, they are very hard to get or even don't open and move away. Um, I spend around uh, 10 to 50 minutes in the interaction before I close. Rarely do I do instant dates. Mostly I feel they are all seeking attention when I give it to them and some leave. I don't know if I should qualify women or not, as if I qualify or neg it's they get offended. Um, and think I'm an asshole. If I don't qualify women, they do not invest because I'm just another fan, especially for eights, nines, and tens who have uh, 80,000 followers <laughs> on Instagram, I guess. Um, I pull mostly women, I pull I pull women mostly, sorry, for our first Tinder dates, but very little matches. I think I'm struggling with building connection with them. I come off as a player, um, as I joke a lot or something else. My question is, what's your advice to improve my game and get results, especially with eights, nines, and tens? Um, what could a good looking, uh, what are some adaptations for a good looking guy? All right. So, man. All right. So this is the thing. Um, one, one, one of the things that, why these types of questions are difficult to answer is because I would actually need to be with you to see what's going on. You understand? In, 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 in a lot of these situations. Because, you know, people will say, okay, I'm approaching women, but I'm not getting a certain result. But the thing is, I don't know how you're approaching them. I don't know what are the type of things you're saying. I don't know, you know, how you're interacting with these women. I don't know the energy that's, you know, being portrayed in these situations. You see what I'm saying? So that's what sort of makes it difficult to, to you know, answer these types of questions. Because, for example, the other day I was in the city and um, I ran into somebody who, you know, watches my video. So I'm just chilling. He, he sees me. He's like, oh, Mr. Locario, what up? What up? So we talking and we're having a conversation and all this other stuff. And he's telling me, he's like, you know, hey, I'm talking to these girls, but I'm having a little trouble. You know, I try to say hi to them in the street. Some of them say hi, but then they'll just keep moving. But, you know, I'm not really getting the type of results that I that I want, right? And so as he's talking, I'm looking at him, and I was like, and I said to him, I said, you know, uh, one of your main issues is your appearance, like the way you dress. I'm like, if you dressed better, your shit would skyrocket. You understand what I'm saying? Because the way he looked, he was he didn't look that presentable. You know what I'm saying? But let's say that same guy sent me an email saying, Hey, Miss Locario, I'm out here trying to talk to girls and I'm having issues, right? Because I wasn't able to see him if he just sent an email, there's something in his game that he needs to step up that I wouldn't know because I don't see him. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why it's kind of difficult to answer some of these questions like this because 
I would need to see what's going on in the entire situation. You see what I'm saying? So that same guy who I saw in the street, I was able to say, okay, look, this is really mostly how you're putting yourself together that I can tell, you know what I mean? That, that you're having issues, you know what I'm saying? And, and if he's listening to this video, he knows who I'm talking about. But for your email here, what I want to do is I want to, you know, talk about some general things that I'm noticing that it could be the issue, right? Now, one of the things that I want to point out, you know, and, and this is just for, you know, everyone else that's listening, um, you know, I want to point out the fact that he's 6'5", he's saying he's a good looking guy and he's still having, you know, issues. So this that's just, <laughs> that's just for all you looks matters guys. You understand what I'm saying? That it's all about looks and all this other shit, right? But besides that, what I'm noticing is, and a lot of guys do this, is that you're you're becoming too technical with your game. You understand what I'm saying? You're becoming too uh, trying to be very formulaic with this. And, and what I mean is, as I'm reading this, you're saying, well, when I approach girls who are fives or sixes and sevens, this happens. When I approach girls who are eights, nines, and tens, this happens, right? So part of what's happening here is this, is that it's, the, it's your mindset. It's the way that you're seeing women, that's causing you to have difficulties dealing with women, right? And I talked about this a few times, meaning when you say, you know, the eights, nines, and tens are acting this way, but the five, sixes, and sevens are acting this way, you're you're making a, a, a differentiation between those two types of women, which causes you to act different around different women. You understand what I'm saying? So it's causing you to act different around a bunch of different women. And what I tell you guys is, is that you have to approach every woman the same. You understand? Because there's no difference between an 8, 9, and 10 and a 5, 6, and a 7. You understand? The only difference between those groups of women is the difference you make in your mind. So because you make the difference in your mind, you start responding to those women in different ways so the girl that you think is a nine you're going to respond to her different than the girl you think is a six and so what happens is is that you're saying i want more eights nines and tens but you may be you know uh acting in ways that is going to sort of repel the chick who you think is a nine you know what i'm saying and you're going to act a different way to the chick who you think is a six because you may think, well, uh, the six is easier to get. So you're just a little bit more laid back and chill. And then the six may be a little bit more attracted to you. You understand? Then the nine, you're trying to get the nine. And then you're like, damn, why is it so hard to attract the nine? But it's hard to attract the nine because you're acting like it's hard to get her. You're acting like she's special. You're acting like she's above everything else. And that comes out when you're interacting with her, right? Because you said in your email, you said that, the five, sixes, and sevens, you said they get so intimidated by you and, and you lose interaction fast and, you know, and all this other stuff. But, you know, another thing too is that, you know, you, you, you're not even necessarily sure if that's the reason why it's happening. Like, it could be, but you're not really sure. You understand what I'm saying? All you know is that shit is not happening with those girls. Then you say, well, I approach the eights, nines, and tens, and you're like, well, it's, you know, this isn't happening and you're saying, oh, it's because of whatever eights, nines, and tens do that's making them act that way. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So what I would say to you is, first you have to, and this is for all you guys out there, you need to stop uh, making how you classify these chicks or how you rate these chicks dictate how you come at the girl. You understand? Because that right there is messing up your game in the first place. Because by by thinking that you have to come at a girl who you think is an 8, 9, and 10 differently than you would come at a 5, 6, or a 7, you're already putting the 8, 9, and 10 on the pedestal even before you approach her. You see what I'm saying? And so, because in, in another thing, again, like I said, you're, you're taking, uh, you know, you're, you're being a little too technical with this shit. See, this is the thing. A lot of, this is what, what, what messes up a lot of guys. 
when you're out there doing your thing, right? The way that your your male mind thinks about this is very formulaic. It's very step by step. It's very logical. It's like, okay, I got to do this first and I got to do this next and I got to do this next. This is why a lot of guys are so attracted to pickup artists because pickup artists uh, you know, they they will do a lot of things in sort of like a science. Well, if you do this and then if you do this here and then you do this thing after that and then you understand and then so what happens is is that you start thinking in that way that if I do this, this, then this, then that, then I'm a getter. So, uh, so then you come to a dating coach or a pickup artist and, or whatever, and you say, give me the formula to do this, 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 and that to get her. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you there are certain, you know, technical aspects of the game. You understand what I'm saying? But what it is, is that the technical part isn't really the meat and potatoes of the situation. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like when you talk about working out, how they'll say, you know, uh, when they say abs is is built in the kitchen, meaning like what you eat in your diet is going to create the situation where you lose the weight and, and get those abs. And then when you go to the gym, you just tone up the muscles. So the gym is like, you know, the smaller percentage of the situation, right? So what happens is that the technical aspects of these things are the smaller percentage of the situation when it comes to dealing with women. The, the bigger percentage is your mindset and how you flow in the interaction. You see what I'm saying? Because what happens is, is that the guys who are the best at this shit, the guys who, um, you know, get the most women, the guys who most women find the most attractive are the men who know how to balance out the technical aspects of the game with the emotional aspect of the game or the the you know the 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 side of the game where you're just sort of flowing with the situation you understand because a lot of it has to do with the flow in the interaction but if you're thinking too much why you're talking to a girl or trying to get with a girl you're like okay she's She's a, 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 a eight or a nine, so I got to come at her that way. And then after I say that, I'm going to say this. And then, you know, she said this, so now I got to, you know, you even use the PUA term in there. I got to neg her, you know what I'm saying? Again, you're, you're, being, you're being way too technical with this shit, right? So what you got to do is you have to start to learn how to feel the interaction more. You got to learn how to flow with it. So don't worry about if a girl, you know, like uh, if the girl's um, an 8, 9, or a 10. You see her, you that's your opinion. You're like, yo, she's a 10. Cool, fine. But don't come at her thinking, well, this is my formula for talking to 10s because this is how you get the 10s. It doesn't work that way. You understand what I'm saying? You're not getting, you're, see, guys, I've heard this a million times and it just makes me laugh all the time. They're like, well, the 8s, 9s, and 10s are harder to get. No, they're not. You're making it harder to get because you think there is something more important with the 8s, 9s, and 10s. If you would just chill the fuck out and flow in the situation, you'd get the 8s, 9s, and 10s. See, this is why guys who aren't the best looking dudes can still pull chicks and pull hot chicks because they know how to flow with the situation. They know how to use the technical aspects of what they need to do in you know, certain situations, but they also understand that they have to be able to flow with it. You understand? It has to be that flow there. It has to be that feeling. You know, you get that feeling and then you move based off the feeling. You understand? A lot of times guys, they ask me, they say, what do you say to a woman? I say, what you need to say is going to be revealed to you by interacting with the woman. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, if I'm if I'm talking to just somebody randomly at a party, right? And I say to that person, "Hey, how's it going?" and they're like, "Oh, it's it's good. How are you?" right? They ask me, "How am I?" So now I say, "Oh, I'm fine. I had a good day, whatever," right? What they did, what they say is going to give me the the ammunition to say what I need to say. I don't need to ask, "What do I say to this guy who asks me, "How are you?" I don't need to say, I don't need to ask cuz I know what to say because he's asking me, how am I? You see what I'm saying? This is how a conversation works. 
But guess what? I'm flowing in the conversation. You see what I mean? So I think for you, what you would need to do is you need to, you know, f flow better in these conversations and in these interactions you have with women. I think you may be a little bit too much up in your head uh, how you how you interact with these women because even what you're what you're saying in your um, your your email and stuff, you know, you were saying like you know. If I don't qualify them, they don't invest because I'm just another fan, especially for eights through tens who have 80,000 followers. What do you, what does that have to do with anything? If a, a chick has 80,000 followers on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? What does that have to do with anything? If you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a chick, you see what I'm saying? Cause you think you're saying, well, if I don't qualify them, if I don't do this, then they're not going to invest in me. And for, listen, Forget all of that shit. You just having a, a conversation in this moment with this woman. Again, you're you're thinking too technical about this situation. You understand? Yeah, you're, you're you're too deep into the pickup artistry. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying. You don't know this chick from nowhere. She don't know you from nowhere. Let's just flow with the situation. Let's just feel this out. Is she responsive to you even talking to her? You understand? What type of woman is she? You understand? Is she smiling when you're having a conversation with her? Is she ignoring you? Is she answering your questions? Is she giving you one word answers? Is she, you know, like enjoying the vibe? Is she being standoffish? What's going on in the situation? How is the situation flowing? You understand what I'm saying? And so you're, you're thinking about all these other extra things and you're adding extras on the shit that don't need to be added on to. You're like, well, this... Eight, nine, or ten who has eighty thousand followers on Instagram, and so fuck. I care if she got eighty thousand followers. What that? What that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Talk about I don't want to. I don't want to be her fan. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. See, you're 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 already being the quote unquote fan by propping her up, saying, "Well, she's this." Eight, nine, or ten, so she's special. You've you've already became a fan. You've became a fan of the eights, nines, and tens. You understand? You put them on that pedestal. You made her special. You made it to where there needs to be something special you need to do in order to get that girl. You see what I'm saying? Instead of just approaching her, interacting with her, and making the situation flow. You know what I'm saying? See. You have technical aspects of this. So, for example, the technical way of doing this would be, okay, I see the girl. Do I want to go indirect or do I want to go direct? Do I want to just, you know, like ask her a question about something in a situation? Or do I also want to go straight up to her and be like, hey, listen, how you doing? You know, I saw you from across the room. Thought you was really attractive. What's your name? My name is Lucario. Boom. However you want to do it. That's the technical. But now that we're talking and we're interacting, let that shit flow. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about all that other extra shit. See, that's that's the problem with a lot of you guys, y'all. Instead of just being comfortable within yourself and letting shit flow and just, you know, flowing with the interaction, you know, you guys have been having trouble to getting women so long. You're like, what's the formula? I need the formula to, to, to say to the girl to get her. But the thing, the funny part is, is that if you put yourself out there and you, you drop all that extra formula formulate type of thinking and just interact with the chicks you'll be more present and then chicks will respond to you better and then you would get you know better results with the women so i think part of it is you know you're being way too technical and you're not flowing with the situation you see what i'm saying and and the thing is this is that you need to be able to um you know flow better with that but also too Again, like I was saying earlier, there could be something, some other things that you're doing, you know, that I can't see because I'm not there. This is why you, you know, you guys definitely need to get, um, you know, like in-person type of coaching. This is why coaching is important. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have that type of, uh, you know, coaching and all that other stuff, right, it's going to be hard for the coach to see what 
can be done to help you get to that next level because you may be doing something in those situations that if you tweak this or you did this a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? It could, it could, it, the whole situation will flow better. You understand? But just in you know, general, I, I want to tell you, man, all you need to do, you know, that will probably, that will help you a little bit more is start flowing better in the situation and, and don't rely a hundred percent on just like being technical and thinking about the exact things to say and, you know, putting a chick on a pedestal because she's the eight, nine or 10 versus the five, six or seven. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is going to teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You'll also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.